In this video, we delve into the heartwarming tale of evergreen love. The story revolves around Sayaka, a woman who feels life has been unfair, especially after losing her family and feeling lonely. Her routine as a real estate agent adds to her sense of monotony and isolation. Sayaka's life lacks joy and purpose until one fateful night when she dreams of encountering a mysterious man outside her home, seeking warmth. To her surprise, Sayaka wakes to find this man. It's Suki, not just a dream but a reality, cooking breakfast in her kitchen. His friendly demeanor and culinary skills bring a newfound happiness to Sayaka's life. As its Suki settles in, he shares his passion for wild herbs, bringing color and flavor to Sayaka's world. Itsuki's presence becomes a source of joy for Sayaka, filling her days with companionship and delightful meals. With his love for wild herbs and thoughtful gestures, Itsuki's stay brings a sense of purpose and excitement to Sayaka's otherwise mundane life. As the days pass, Itsuki proposes staying for six months, coinciding with Sayaka's birthday. Overjoyed, Sayaka welcomes this extension of their time together, grateful for the joy and companionship Itsuki has brought into her life. Itsuki's culinary skills continue to brighten Sayaka's days, especially when he surprises her with delicious meals and even packs lunch for her workdays. Their bond grows stronger as they share daily life, with Itsuki's thoughtful gestures making Sayaka more optimistic and joyful. Despite being just housemates, Sayaka and Itsuki develop a close relationship. Itsuki's part-time job at a convenience store where he works nights to prepare meals for Sayaka in the mornings, showcases his dedication and care for her well-being. When Sayaka faces challenges at work, Itsuki's support and encouragement provide her with much-needed comfort and motivation. On special occasions, Itsuki's thoughtful gifts, like a bicycle for leisurely rides, deepen their bond. Sayaka notices Itsuki's expensive belongings, but refrains from probing, focusing instead on his talents in wild herb cooking and photography. She appreciates his culinary skills and enjoys their time together, finding solace in his company. Despite attention from a co-worker named Takezawa, Sayaka's heart belongs to Itsuki. Their shared moments, whether exploring nature or capturing memories, fill Sayaka with happiness and contentment. However, a misunderstanding at work causes trouble for Sayaka, tarnishing her reputation unfairly. To bridge the gap in her knowledge of wild herbs, Sayaka buys a book and joins Itsuki on herb-gathering trips. A slip on the rocks leads to Itsuki's attentive care, revealing his affection for her. Yet, Sayaka's curiosity about Itsuki's expensive handkerchief leads her to discover a connection between Itsuki and a female colleague at his workplace. Feeling a mix of jealousy and confusion, Sayaka spends more time with her co-workers, even going home with Takezawa on occasion. Itsuki, sensing trouble, tries to reconcile with Sayaka, hoping to preserve their bond despite her growing unease about his interactions with other women. Upon returning home, Sayaka and Itsuki have a heartfelt conversation where Sayaka confesses her feelings for Itsuki, which he reciprocates, leading them to start dating. They enjoy their newfound relationship, spending happy days together as lovers. Wanting to explore new interests with Itsuki, Sayaka invites him to an Ikebana flower exhibition but he declines, preferring wild herbs. As six months pass since Itsuki moved in, Sayaka's birthday arrives, and Itsuki surprises her with a homemade cake and a book on wild herbs, making her overjoyed. However, the next day, Itsuki leaves a thank you note and departs, leaving Sayaka feeling lost and searching for him desperately. Despite her efforts to locate Itsuki, Sayaka's life returns to loneliness filled with fast food and boredom without Itsuki's presence. She accidentally encounters Itsuki's co-worker and follows her, hoping for clues about Itsuki's whereabouts, only to be mistaken for a stalker and reported to the police. At the police station, Sayaka breaks down, expressing her frustration and longing for Itsuki. Her mother, Nariko, arrives and comforts her, sparking a heartfelt conversation between mother and daughter. Sayaka decides to move forward, albeit with a lingering love for Itsuki, even as her relationship with Takezawa progresses. She continues their shared activities like exploring wild herbs, cooking, and visiting fun places, finding solace in these memories. On her birthday, Sayaka receives a package from Itsuki containing his published book on wild herbs, 
leading her to discover his upcoming press conference and a chance to reunite with him. Sayaka wasted no time in following the clues to locate Itsuki. She discreetly attended the press conference at the hotel, where she finally reunited with Itsuki after a long absence. During the conference, Sayaka discovered that Itsuki is actually Ryumi Aitome's son, a renowned Ikebana artist. Understanding why Itsuki declined her invitation to the flower exhibition, as it was his father's event, Sayaka listened as Itsuki explained his journey. Itsuki revealed that although he was the family heir, he felt it wasn't his true calling. He left home to forge his own path, driven by his passion for wild herbs, leading to the publication of his book. Sayaka left the venue with the realization that their backgrounds were vastly different, accepting that expecting Itsuki to return to her was unfair. Back at home, Sayaka was surprised to find Itsuki standing in front of her house, reminiscent of their first meeting. Itsuki explained his departure, expressing that while living with Sayaka felt perfect, he needed to find his own purpose. However, realizing that Sayaka completed him, Itsuki returned and proposed to her, leading to their marriage. Post-marriage, Sayaka continued her office job while Itsuki pursued photography and wild herbs passionately. They complemented each other's lives, finding happiness together. The film's moral teaches us to seek our identity and choose our life's path while appreciating those who support us as they enrich and complete our lives.